Good morning guys, welcome to another video. I know that I said I was going to do a Legoland video but the weather was absolutely horrendous on the day that we were supposed to go and um, it is quite a long journey from our house so we decided not to do that. Instead we went to the Royal Mint in Lantrescent which isn't far from our house at all. Um, I wasn't able to film inside there because you're not allowed to film the tour but I did take some pictures in the gallery like towards the end that I can insert at the end of this video for you guys to see instead. Hopefully we will go back to Legoland. We'll go to Legoland because we haven't been before. <laughs> at some point and I can get a video of the sensory room and stuff for people that way. But rolling straight into today's video, I wanted to do a kind of um, tools for autism that you can use when out in public. I haven't really spoken about this before, I have touched on communication aids for autism so this kind of falls into like a similar thing, but if you are going out in public and you have a meltdown or you have high anxiety, there's a situation where you need help from the public, these sort of tools I've found can help you with being able to get across that you're autistic or you need assistance or something like that. So the first one that I have is this little thing here. And it says, I have autism on it. And this is what I used to use at university that I used to just hook onto my backpack. It's kind of lost a few of the cards at the minute and it's a bit worn because I left uni um, a couple of months ago now. So I haven't used it in a while, but I made these myself and you can get these little clear pouches on Amazon. They were really cheap and I just used words to make the actual thing so you can personalize them for yourself. And it's just an information card that I have on my backpack or did have on my backpack so that anybody who was new to meeting me could read this and kind of know how to help if there was a situation. So the first page says if I'm having a meltdown. I may be having a meltdown if I become non-verbal, move my hands and body oddly. So, you know, that's describing stimming for behaviours for people who don't know what stimming is. Begin to engage in self injurious behaviour such as hand biting, gagging or head banging, have stress seizures and then in brackets rapid eye movements or twitching of the body. So when I have meltdowns these do trigger um, like absence seizures for me. So that's just obviously on there. Walk off or try to escape a situation so absconding is obviously quite common in people with autism and then the last one hyperventilate. So that was just kind of describing the symptoms of what a meltdown is for me. Obviously meltdowns are very different for other people. And then I've just done a little card on the next page that says important with like a list of sort of handy information because I used to have really big meltdowns that could last for a few hours. So it was just saying like sitting and riding out the meltdown is usually the only solution for me and it can range between half an hour to a few hours. Please stay until it finishes or when I become fully verbal again just to make sure that I was safe and okay. This was mainly used in university halls if like wardens or friends or people that were in my flat could kind of read this if they didn't know about autism. So, you know, again, you would tailor the information depending on who you want to read it. It also says about the actual symptoms. So when hyperventilation occurs, try to get me to repeat numbers or phrases as a distraction. This not only helps with breathing, but also helps me to regain my speech. And that's obviously just a thing that through multiple meltdowns, I've learned that that's what helps me focus and come out. Rapid eye movements and twitching because seizures will pass on their own, but can cause my body temperature to rise rapidly. Remove any outer clothing such as jackets and check my forehead or signs of high temperature. So obviously that again is an individual sort of thing that if I get more if my temperature rises, the seizures will increase. So that was just a, I am missing cards off this. I can't remember what the other one said, but that's obviously a useful thing that's kind of discreet, but has a lot of information in it if you need to. And then similar, we have like pet cards, emotion cards that you could use when out in public. So like say you did become non-verbal or you were a bit embarrassed to like ask somebody you know out in public you could say that you were feeling like scared you could like show them the card or like worried or you know you could have ones that say like help on them or like yes no like especially if you're not able to speak at that moment you could be like yes or no in that sort of sense they're quite handy I think to have on you in like general so that's just what those are and I've just put them on one of the like 
lanyard things that you get with chewies and like sensory sort of toys um, and these were ones that I bought from eBay and they're mostly like emotions but they have got like yes no friends waiting thinking those sort of things on them so they're kind of basic but you can make your own emotion cards based on what you need them for really another thing that i've done recently is this autism lanyard as you can see i don't know if it's going to focus because my face is in the way it's not going to focus today but you can kind of get the picture there's like loads of autism ribbons on a black lanyard and at the bottom i have one of my chewies which is my anchor chewy um which is prob was probably my first chewy and one of my favorites because it has got all these little textured dots on it and it's quite flexible um and next to it on the lanyard is these sort of cards so there's one there and one there so i'll take them out and kind of go through them with you so this card came recently in the post and this is the jam card there you go that's a jam card and that says just a minute on it and then on the back it says please be patient i have autism there you go you guys should be able to see it now um this is from the nowgroup.com for more information go to jamcard.org and obviously it's just a little um this has i think been aware like it's an awareness thing with like public transport so buses and trains and stuff like their staff should be aware of these jam cards you can just use it in a normal situation in terms of it saying please be patient i have autism um and obviously you probably would use it more on public transport because you can actually if you're feeling stressed or anxious on the public transport and you're taking a bit longer to get off the bus or you know where you are being a bit slower you can just say please be patient you know i do have autism so that's the first one that's in my little lanyard and then the next one is from the curly hair pro curly hair project so obviously this is the girl with curly hair.co.uk and this is a i am on the autism spectrum card and you can get these in male and female so this one has a girl on it excuse my hand i fell over yesterday <laughs> but yeah that one's got a girl on it but you can get one with a boy figurine on it as well and it says i'm on the autism spectrum and then it's got like like the yellow bit is what you find difficult and then the green is you can help me by so it says i might find talking and listening difficult i might have difficulty making eye contact i'm likely to feel very anxious and overwhelmed i might have difficulty with my senses and i might show unusual behaviors and then it says you can help me by using clear and concise language giving me extra time to respond recognizing the way i experience things may be different from you explaining what you are going to do especially if it involves any physical contact and recognizing that i might have sensory processing difficulties and may need a quiet or calm space again in a public situation you can use this if you're not able to tell people that you're autistic and they can read and find out more about autism which helps because sitting there and trying to explain what autism is and what it does to you is quite difficult in certain situations like that so all of these you can get online they this one i think i paid for but the jam card is free and obviously the visuals and stuff you can either make yourself or buy them from ebay they're not really that expensive there are loads of other things out there similar to this i just haven't got them i have got a communication passport that I have shown in my communicational aids video but I can't find it at the minute which isn't really good considering it's like an emergency passport thing for hospitals and stuff but that has like your medical details in your personal information your disabilities what it means for you what you like what you don't like that's quite good if you're in a place like a hospital or stuff like that and then my last tool for going out in thing it is on charge at the minute but I've managed to just unlock it is obviously my communication iPad this ipad it's not actually an ipad it's a tablet but whatever is only used for talking apps and for sensory apps so it's solely for autism and communicating it's not for anything else so as you can see i have the let me talk app up and i'll put the name of that in the description just in case anybody wants to know what that is and i'll turn the volume up to make sure you guys can hear 
and this is a communication aid if you become non-verbal or you want to just communicate through the app so on my phrase, phrases page i have i i so you could do i need help i need help there's also one that i've done down here that says i have autism which is this one i have autism and you've got i'm sorry i'm sorry ambulance ambulance please stop me please stop me leave me alone leave me alone stop stop um these phrases you can customize yourself like this whole app you can add things that you want on there what you don't want um there's a feelings one across the bottom with like angry bad love upset i don't know i love you you've got a food area drinks clothes a body one's quite good if you're in hospital so you could say like you've banged your head or you've got a rash or you're cold like you can tell people if there's anything wrong with your body and that's why you're struggling you can request like your thing so you could say like i need my like ear defenders, ear defenders. Yeah, you could request a communication board it's got colors it's got the alphabet so that if there wasn't a symbol you could like type what you want but that does take a while you can also customize your own people on there so i've got dan, dan which is my partner you've got like doctor nurse and then you've got future. like future like you can ask questions about the future you can add questions to it so you could say are you angry with me how are you can you get me this can you come with me why where like those sort of things the ones that say like are you happy are you angry are you sad um when i used to have the really big meltdowns that would go on for hours i was really worried that the person was angry with me so i'd just keep saying like are you angry and they'd be like no like it's fine but this is an amazing app and it's completely free it's called let me talk on on like android devices i'm not sure if it's on like apple and stuff like that but those sort of things are really good just to have on you and obviously all of these sort of means are if you do become non-verbal or you are actually struggling to say things because a lot of the time you might be able to ask for help just by using your voice but obviously everybody's different everyone knows what works for them and what doesn't work for them these are just a couple of ideas that i thought might help you guys if there's anything in this video that I haven't got that you guys use, let me know because I'm always looking for new ideas and new ways to help when going out in situations by myself. I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any video requests or any questions, as always, pop them down in the comments below and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!